What's up guys, my name is Chris Padrone and I'm going to teach you how to get started live streaming on Twitch.tv using a laptop PC. Now Twitch has grown exponentially since its inception in 2011 and everyone's rushing to become a streamer, right? But what most people don't realize is it really isn't that easy. So in this video, I'm going to hold your hand as we walk through your very first steps into the world of live streaming. Let's get started. Doing a tutorial. What's up? Yeah, So before we begin, there are three assumptions that I'm going to make as we move forward. One, you've already created your Twitch.tv account. Two, you have a laptop PC. Three, you want to stream a PC game. Just so you guys know, this tutorial is not covering console streaming. Great. So with those things aside, we're ready to jump in. Step one, download OBS. OBS is a piece of software that allows anybody to broadcast media directly to the internet. So it makes sense that it stands for Open Broadcaster Software. I provided a link to download OBS in the description below. So now we're in OBS, and before we get carried away with all of its features, we're going to jump right into the settings. Most of the settings are self-explanatory, but I'm going to go over a few things that you might find confusing. Click over to the Stream tab. Make sure your service is set to Twitch and your server is set to the nearest city to you. So for me, that's New York City. Your stream key is really important, but we're going to come back to that later. The next tab, and arguably the most important tab, is output. The settings you change in output will have a high impact on how smooth you're able to stream. Find where it says video bitrate and set that to 2000. Now some people might say to go higher, but this is the setting that Twitch recommends, and it'll be the smoothest viewing experience for, well, your viewers. My audio bitrate is set to 320, but honestly, you could probably get away with lower than that. The encoder preset is what will determine the visual quality of your stream. So this will be different for each person because it depends on how strong your laptop is. So my laptop is pretty strong. I set it to very fast. Now, the slower you go, the better your quality is, but also the more that it's going to force your computer to work. Now, I would always sacrifice a little bit of visual quality if it makes a big difference in how smooth your stream is. So, again, really, no one wants to watch a buffering stream. So if your laptop can't handle very fast, then go to super fast, for example. Now, the audio tab is super important, but it's really easy to navigate once you figure it out. You're going to find where it says mic slash auxiliary audio device and select your microphone. Now, for me, that's the Blue Yeti. Now, if you have a Yeti, you also know that your headphones go into the microphone, so what you hear is coming through that. So, in my case, I have to choose Blue Yeti for the desktop audio device also. Now, video is the last tab we're really going to take a look at, and what I want you to do is set your base resolution and your output resolution to 1280 by 720 Now, I know it's not 1080p, but we're not going to see a lot of the benefits of doing that, especially if you're streaming from a laptop, maybe not the most powerful machine. Streaming at 720p is going to keep it running smooth and really for not a whole lot of visual difference. Okay, so let's take a step back and talk about the stream key again. What you're going to do is go to your Twitch profile. You're going to right click in the top corner with a little drop down arrow and find the button that says dashboard. Now once you're on your dashboard, you're going to see a bunch of things listed on the left hand side. Click on settings. Once you're in your settings, you're going to see stream key up at the top there. Give that a click, and then click Show Key, then click I Understand. What it's going to do is present you with a long string of letters, numbers, underscores, etc. I want you to copy that, go back into OBS, go into your settings, go to where it says Stream, and paste that into the Stream Key space. Click Apply, and click OK. Moving right along. Oh, so what that just did is it gave OBS a place to put the stream. So now it knows, okay, we're going to upload this stream to your Twitch profile. Get it? Got it? Good. Okay, so now you're saying, I've got OBS, I've got my stream key, I've got all my settings where I want them, I signed on to Twitch, what do I do next? Well, now we're going to create something called a scene. And a scene is what your viewers see when they go and watch your stream. All right, so to create a scene in OBS, you're going to come to the bottom left here. It's going to say Scenes, and you're just going to hit the plus arrow. Let's name it 
I don't know. Scene one. Hit OK. All right, then you're going to go into the sources box here. And you're going to click the plus arrow and you're going to find your first source. Now, what you're probably going to want to do is game capture or window capture. You're going to have to mess around with both of those to see what exactly captures the game the best. So for me, I'm just going to boot up a game real quick. Okay, so I just booted up a game. It's right there in the window. And what I'm going to do is minimize that, come to OBS, hit the plus arrow, hit window capture. We'll name it game. Click OK. And there you go. It picks up the game right away. Everything looks good. We're going to hit OK. And now it's an item that we can move around in OBS. Super cool. We can place it wherever we want. So when we go and add things later, like a webcam or titles and text, we can put it pretty much anywhere. Now this is a four by three game. A lot of the games that you're gonna be playing are a 16 by nine ratio. So they're gonna take up this whole window and that's totally fine. You can still downsize them to have borders where you can put text or you can just have it take up the full window and then put something like your webcam right on top of the game. Totally up to you. So for this purpose, we're gonna put the game right there. Okay, so this looks pretty good, but we're definitely gonna need our webcam. So what we're gonna do is come down over to the sources list. All we have is game right now. We're gonna click that plus arrow one more time and we're gonna add a video capture device. We're gonna name it webcam, hit okay. And then there we are. So, you know, what you would do if you didn't show up is you go, you go to the, uh, the device tab here, click down, find your webcam. There's a Logitech HD Pro C920. This stuff you can mess with, but it looks nice. So we're gonna leave it and we're gonna click okay. Now we're gonna downsize this because that's a little big maybe something like that. And we're gonna click and drag it over to the right hand side. Now I want you guys to know something. We can live stream right now if we want to. All we'd have to do is click start streaming and we would be good to go. And people would go to your channel and they would see this. Now that's cool, but we're not exactly 100% of the way there yet. But visually, this is all you really need. You know, we could blow this up, have our webcam just over it, pretend it's one of those 16 by nine games, we'd be in the top corner, let's say, the game's here, and it would look nice, right? So, as far as that goes, you're pretty much covered. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple of more things that you can do to be a little bit more of like a well-rounded stream. So let's jump into that. All right, guys, so what you're gonna wanna do next is go to streamlabs.com. Now I'm giving you some top tier advice here. This is really good stuff. It's gonna take your stream to the next level. What you're gonna do is log in. Obviously, you're gonna have to create an account, but you can connect it to your Twitch account. So go ahead and do that. I'm gonna do it right here. But I'm trusting you guys to do that on your own. And it's gonna bring you to your dashboard. So it'll tell you your donations, your followers, your subscribers, all of that good stuff. And it's gonna have a list of the people who followed you down here. Super cool. Now, how do we integrate this into the stream? That's a great question. What we're gonna do, I'm just gonna show you a couple of quick tips. I'm, I'm gonna do a separate video on Streamlabs as a whole, but I'm gonna show you one or two quick tips to get you started, is we're gonna go to widgets, hit the plus, and then click, uh, let's do chat box. So now this is super cool it actually pops up with the names and messages that people type into your Twitch chat. So we're gonna use this here. Now, we're just gonna leave it this style, but you can actually change it to, uh, you know, Twitch, uh, let's see, box. You can change it to a bunch of different styles, but we're gonna leave it as clean, super cool. You could change the coloration a little bit, and you can, you know, just mess with the settings in general. So let me show you how you get this in your stream. Over at the top where it says widget URL, you're gonna go ahead and click where it says click to show widget URL. That's gonna reveal this URL here. Click and drag to highlight it. Control C to copy. And then hop back into OBS. Let me just drag it from my second monitor. Hop back into OBS. Go to your sources, click the plus. Uh, browser source. We're gonna name it chat box, hit enter. And then where the URL is, we're gonna paste the source that we just had there and hit enter. Now you can click and drag, it's just another item on your window. 
and you can click and drag that wherever you want. Now, so I'm not gonna show you guys, but if I was to go onto my Twitch chat right now, even though I'm offline and I'm not streaming, and I typed in some words, they would pop up here with my username. So this is super cool. It's like a live Twitch chat that you can put um, into your stream. Really nice. So if I put my Twitch chat here on the bottom, I put my webcam, let's say I put my webcam uh, a little bit above it maybe. There, maybe I put my webcam here. I have my Twitch chat right below it. I have the game to the left. Super cool setup. So that's just one little tip that you can do to kind of increase the value to your stream. Like I said, guys, I'm gonna do a separate video on Streamlabs, because Streamlabs really offers a lot. I'm actually, I'm actually wearing a Streamlabs shirt. Um, they really offer a lot of different tools that you can use to up your stream quality. Um, really just super cool, a lot of great stuff there. But that's the one trick I'm gonna show you from them to integrate it into your stream. So now, we've got that out of the way. How do we start streaming? The last thing you wanna do is head on over to your, I'm actually gonna take my face out of this just so we can see the screen. The last thing you wanna do is head on over to your web browser. We're gonna go to Twitch. We're going to go to your channel. And then from here, you can update your game title and your game. So let's say we wanna play Stardew Valley. We would type in Stardew, click that. And let's say we wanna name the stream Star uh, First Time Playing Stardew Valley. There you go. You'd click Done. Must be Twitch supported language. Uh, it's been giving me that error lately, but you get the point. We would click Done, and then it would update here. You'd go back into OBS, and all you would have to do is click start streaming. Now, the other thing you do wanna look for is in your mixer, this is gonna be your volume, you wanna make sure that desktop audio is picking up the audio from your game. So what's gonna be the tell for that is you're gonna see the bar moving, and you wanna make sure that your mic is being picked up as well, you're gonna see the bar moving. So if I unmute it, you can see that my mic is moving. Super cool, it means that OBS is picking up my audio, and in return, the stream is gonna be picking up my audio. So you gotta, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that those are all set at levels that you want. You can balance them by raising or lowering the volume of your game so it's not too loud compared to your voice. Maybe you wanna get one of your mods to kinda of hop in there and do a sound check for you. You know, if you have a good friend, say, hey, check out my stream, tell me how the sound levels are, I wanna balance them. Do something like that. I'm pretty sure, I really, really hope I was thorough during this tutorial. I hope I was. Um, if there's any questions, let me know down in the comments below. I want to thank you guys for watching. And if you liked it, please hit that like button, share it with a friend, and let me know so that way I can make you guys some more videos. I definitely want to do a Streamlabs tutorial. And uh, there's, there's actually a couple of other things that I'm going to get started on soon. So like I said, if you liked it, let me know. Come back for the next one.